I'm John Hershey, president of J. Hershey Architecture. Today we've given a tour of these two homes which were built in conjunction with Habitat for Humanity and the U.S. Green Building Council. This week was the 2010 International Green Build Expo at McCormick Place in Chicago and we had a tour that 30 people came up on to tour these two homes. So a number of different technologies on these two homes. Our focus really is on affordability with Habitat certainly, but as well energy efficiency, uh, products that are brought in from local distributors and suppliers, manufacturing. With the advanced framing technique, spacing two feet on center, everything aligns. So the trusses directly set over the studs. If this had a uh, wood floor construction, the wood choice would fall directly under the studs or the load transfer. So we don't need more than a single top plate. The idea of this framing system is to uh, basically allow you to frame the wall five and a half inches thick and use the same amount of lumber that you would use on a two by four wall that's 16 inches on center. We, we elected to do two by 12s in this area of the house to give us the insulation requirements. The rest of the house is built with a two by four truss system. In the top plate and in the bottom plate, again the, the, the top plate is the horizontal piece running here, you have to seal that with a, with a fire foam or a fire rated caulk so that if there is a fire here, then it can't get up into the upper structure and catch that on fire by lapping up through those holes adjacent to the plumbing perforations and the heating and electrical perforations in those plates. You can see that there's a, there's a plastic pan here so that there's any kind of condensation on the window, it comes down into the pan and gets sent to the outside. I'm a real fan of the cellulose. It yeah. makes a lot of sense to me. It's a very cost-effective way to, right. to get a good wall, good solid wall. Because it's difficult to insulate behind outlets and stuff like that. But once you, these guys come in there with the cellulose blower, I mean, it just it does a great job. Some of the other things that you can see throughout the house, you got the same vents. You see them uncovered here. Before we start hanging drywall and that kind of thing, they'll, they'll actually cover those vents up to ensure that they don't get a lot of dust. And debris in them and then before we turn the house over to the homeowner we'll go through there and wipe them all out vacuum them all out and make sure that uh, they're not exposed to the, the things that are going on during construction the homeowners uh, have a, a healthy living environment to find out more about this project and our firm go to jhersheyarchitecture.com you can also google the u.s green building council and habitat for humanity of lake county